YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with a quick fix on Pentair's IntelliFlow VSF. Stay tuned, we're gonna dive right in. All right guys, and we're back. So again, today we got a quick fix on Pentair's IntelliFlow VSF three horsepower uh, pull pump. So we're actually gonna show you guys how to fully rotate the the actual control panel on the pump. So it will come stock one direction straight from Pentair, but depending on how your equipment's actually set up, they do give you the option to fully rotate this control panel. So first thing you're gonna do, obviously before you start messing with any electricity, if you're doing this as it's hooked up, flip the breaker off. That way, as you guys are starting to unscrew the screws, you guys don't hit something, the power location is underneath this panel. So if everything it's not tight like it should be. Uh, you don't want to take the chance of blowing anything as well as shocking yourself. So just flip the breaker, turn the power off to the pump. That way you guys can rotate this. If you're doing it fresh out the box, you don't have anything to worry. So on the top, if you guys actually flip open the keypad, you guys will see that there's actually three screws located on the top um, of the keypad itself. Do not touch those. Those are a specialty key. They're typically like an Allen wrench key. It's meant to actually replace the keypad section, which is typically done by a pool professional or by a Pentair warranty center. So do not touch those three screws. Um, last thing you wanna do is fry anything on the actual screen side. So just go ahead, leave those alone. Those do not need to be touched in order to actually move the panel around. So then the next set of screws you guys are looking for is I actually have two located right here in the front. And then I actually have two located right here on the rear. So the only tool that you guys will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen all four of these screws for you guys and then show you guys how to rotate the panel. All right, so then once you guys got all four screws loosened, um, please note that I did use a hand screwdriver. You can use a power drill in order to back the screws out, but when it comes to actually installing them back into the pump, please do not use a power tool. Um, the last thing you guys wanna do is actually crack this and then have to replace it. If water can get into this, it's got full access in here to the actual wiring of your pump. So just make sure you guys are only hand tightening it there's no need to over crank it. Again, it's got a seal located on the bottom here. As I take it off, you guys can see it's got a, uh, let me pull these just so they don't fly off when I flip it over for you guys. Oh, they didn't come off. So I actually have this seal located around the edge of the panel here. That's just to help make sure that no water can get into here. As you guys can see, this is where the major wiring is gonna come. This is a 230, 240 pump. So you are running super high voltage to this pump. So the last thing you guys wanna do is get any water in here. So making sure that you guys don't over tighten these um, as well as making sure that the seal is still located on the actual pump before you reset the lid is the most important thing. So as you guys can see here, which is really, really cool is they made this uh, panel actually a uh, perfect square. So you guys can rotate it whichever way you guys need. So it came stock where the lid opened here. I'm actually being able to read it direct from you guys here. So let's say I actually need to access it from the back of the pump. It's really nifty that you guys can just rotate it and give you guys the full option here to be able to actually program it from the back. If you don't have a lot of space behind, which typically you normally don't, the pumps are installed closer to a wall, whatever it may be, um, you guys will wanna actually rotate it the other direction so you guys can access it from the front. So then this way, as you guys are walking up to the pump, it gives you the opportunity to um, visualize it from the actual basket side. It's easier for you guys to make sure you guys can push the different speed buttons, make sure you guys can hit that quick clean to get it running before a storm. So it's, it's really nice that they give you the opportunity now to completely rotate this. 
They also provide you with, a, with the ability to relocate this entire panel. So if you guys actually don't have a way, maybe piping comes directly across, it's not easy for you to actually lift the lid up. And instead of hacking out all the PVC and replumbing that, you guys can actually buy a separate piece, which we should have available for you guys in the links in the description, that will actually allow you to take this off. And it's basically just an extension. So they give you a plate that will cover the back of the pump so that everything stays nice and watertight and sealed, similar to what the panel's doing right now. And then they allow you to basically take this entire panel and mount it to the wall somewhere where it's easier for you guys to access. And then the power will run from that directly to the pump. So everything is still accessible for you guys. And that way you guys aren't fighting, um, trying to get in here and do any other programming, especially for those of you guys that do not have automation. So once you guys have it set in the direction that you want, make sure that you guys have it set over the seal. The seal's not sticking out. You didn't, you know, cause over time these seals can break and bend and, and uh, cause issues. So just make sure that everything looks good. Feel around the outside edge, everything's sealed up nice. And again, go ahead and take your hand tool and just begin the process of tightening all four screws. All right, and there you guys have it. Again, be sure to only be use a hand tool, do not use power tools. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. We just wanna show you guys how to completely rotate your IntelliFlow um, panel, so then that way you guys can get access into it and use it which way you need. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We should have a ton more videos coming your way on this pump, as well as all the other pumps out there on the market. I'm Kyle with Pool Supply. We'll see you next time. Thank you.